Yeah, yeah, I think Alito showed us uh, a lot of the same things uh, that Arlington Martin showed us here today at DBU. Um, you had Kobe Talley enter the game uh, in the fourth and, and, and take over, uh, kind of right the ship um, in that 12-2 to uh, win to, uh, to seal the sweep uh, and, their, uh, and their repeat appearance in the, in the state tournament. Uh, and then you also had production up and down the lineup, uh, just like we saw here today from Martin. Well, it, it's not necessarily just what was impressive today. It's, it's really how it's been the last couple of weeks for this team. Um, but I think, you know, you, you look at, you start with Nick Skeffington, who kind of went unnoticed when you consider the type of offensive production that Martin had today. And, and Nick, this is uh, Nick's second, uh, uh, second time out in a Game 3 setting where he's for the most part, dominated the game. But today he had to dominate it in the later half and in, in the final five innings as opposed to, uh, you know, how he, how he uh, pitched against uh, South Lake Carroll. Today he gives up three runs in the first and then he, uh, he really turned it on, um, you know, and, and he got the offense that he needed to kind of be relaxed. But it was impressive to see what he can do. Now, how does that translate into potentially next week? I'm not real sure from the standpoint of, you know, Nick ha hadn't pitched since April the 29th until last week. So he's gotten back-to-back -back wins here. You know, Connor lydiak has been a guy that that uh, that they have gone to repeatedly in Game One. Um, I wonder now if Coach Culbertson will have some you know uh, thought process of whether he wants to throw Connor or wants to throw uh, uh, or wants to throw Nick in in in, a, in the semifinal because there will only be two games next week. He's got to he's got to have Eric Walker for one of those. Um, you know, whichever the case, they've got good arms. Connor's uh, solid with what he does. Nick was very, very good today uh, after he settled down and, and was able to get the outs that he needed. And they had a, a, a great defensive game as well. So aside from that, you know, when you, when you think about the type of team that Martin is, I think they really made the statement today when you consider how they hit the ball. Uh, how they hit the ball, they got a lot of, a lot of big hits. They, they've had a tendency to strand runners and to leave the bases loaded several times, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Um, but today they got the hits to fall in that they needed. And